Good morning, everyone. I'm very happy to be uh, in this beautiful uh, city of Rimini. This is my third visit, and I hope it will be more. This time I brought my wife, but I really, before I start my remarks, I would like to commend my dear friend, Mrs. Zia Murati, for her vision and for her efforts to address very, very sensitive issues that young people in, in the world, not only here, but around the world, are facing and find, we try to find a solution. So thank you very much for your invitation. I'm very delighted to be here representing United Nations and support for your vision and your great efforts. Of course, uh, I would like also uh, to thank Professor Jack Attali and the uh, Mayor of Rimini, Mr. Andrea Nazi, uh, for uh, allowing themselves to, to uh, host and address uh, the issue <coughs> of, uh, of the San Patriano Positive Economy Forum. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, positive economy action for the benefit of present and future generations lies at the heart of the UN 2030 Agenda for Achievement of its Sustainable Development Goals. Resilient, dynamic, and equitable economic development based on care for the environment and respect for social and cultural dimension should underpin all our efforts. The goal of the San Patriano Positive Economy Forum highlight the need to restore the long-term priority in our decision and action because it is the only way to address the economic, environmental, te technological, social, and political challenges we will face in 2030. The long-term perspective is essential, but our immediate problems and challenges are critical. An overview of the first 15 years of this century leaves one almost at the state of shock. When you compare the way our world could be, given its store of natural resources, its accumulated wealth, advance in technology and medicine, the expansion of human capability, and the way events have actually unfolded. This includes numerous local and regional wars, invasions, ethnic cleansing, mass dislocation of the populations, diseases, refugees, crisis, terrorism, and civil strife. This is not to mention the challenge of expanding income inequality, climate change, ocean and land degradation, and other environmental and social issues that affect millions of people worldwide. These issues have to be addressed strategically, urgently, and with a great sense of purpose if we expect 2030 to present us with a better outlook than we have today. These realities require concerted efforts by governments, 
and national, regional, and local level. The private sector and other civil society groups, in other words, it requires solid partnerships across all sectors of society. Our will and our shared capacity for partnership was evident in year 2000 with the adoption of the Millennium Development Goals. And more recently, in 2015, with the adoption of three interlinked agendas for sustainable development, the Addis Ababa Action Agenda to Finance Sustainable Development, the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, and the COP21 on Climate Change. These three agendas are critical because they compel us towards holistic approach to sustainable development. Sustainable development requires us to deal with the problems in their relationship to each other, whether we are talking about science or the integration among us species or the integration interaction of different ecosystems. We need to think in terms of interlinkage. This also includes the economic, social, and political sphere since sustainable development calls on countries to deal at the same time with efficiency and equality, which is not only complex, but weighted down with value judgments. At the United Nations, we have long emphasized the pivotal role played by economists in sustainable development, which is crucial if we are to address income inequality and poverty eradication. The issue of income and equality has received fresh attention by economists who cite this an increasingly global problem affecting even the developed world. It is a major issue for our economic agenda if a small group of people increasingly down most of the world's capital and resources. A world with dimensioning middle class restricted mobility and increasing levels of poverty is not sustainable. Sustainable Development Goals 11, which calls on the international community to make cities and human settlements inclusive, safe, resilient, and sustainable, stresses the importance to support positive economic, social and environmental links, contemporary challenges and opportunities reaffirm the advantage we can collectively gain by adding the cultural component to this recipe for positive societies. Culture is intergenerational and represents a way of life if defines our behavior, our beliefs, and our values. Therefore, we should not dismiss the impact that culture holds in the creation of the societies we want. This is where the role of the United Nations Alliance of Civilization is paramount to promoting positive economic development. We aim at going deeper to highlight the root causes of inequalities, intolerance, social and economic exclusion. United UNAOC focuses on mediation before and after culturally, religiously based conflicts. To date, we bring young people from across the world to address global challenges on the context of cultural and religious diversity. Since the first edition of our summer school, 
almost 500 youth representing 119 countries participated. We have provided monetary and financial support to young entrepreneurs from the Euro-Mediterranean region. Up to now, 60 young entrepreneurs coming from 23 countries bordering the Mediterranean Sea took part on the initiatives. Since 2010, our fellowship program supported by the German government has brought together over 200 young civil society young leaders from the MENA region with young leaders North America, Europe. It engages their fellows in intercultural dialogue to broaden their understanding of culturally sensitive topics. But the impact is more dramatic when you consider the work done by those who participated in our projects. Since 2008, our Youth Solidarity Fund has provided seeds funding to 46 outstanding youth-led initiatives that promote long-term constructive relationships between people from diverse cultural and religious backgrounds. Coming from 30 different countries across Africa, Asia, Latin America, and the Middle East, the work of the supported organization impacted over 700,000 people. Additionally, the impact of NGOs, which were recipients of the International Innovation Award, IIA, have benefited over 600,000 people from 88 countries around the world. Our program is in partnership with the BMW Group. We select innovative and sustainable projects of non-profit organizations that promote dialogue and understanding. Our engagement with youth continues during 7th Global Forum in Baku, Azerbaijan, which will be carried under the theme living together in inclusive societies, a challenge and a goal. That will take place on April 24, 25 this year. We will organize a youth event which will be a unique international opportunity for civic and intercultural participation for 150 young people. They have been selected from diverse backgrounds to discuss common issues and to network. One of the main lessons learned from these various initiatives is simple. If the seeds of understanding and stability are not planted on the hearts and minds of the young men and women today, we're going, we will not achieve peace or economic development tomorrow. Therefore, our activities focus both on the individuals and on collectability. I envision this strategy as one of the keys to renew our economies with a focus on community building. Mentioning community building, this is where the efforts of the community of San Patriano meet with the United Nations Alliance of Civilizations. The community of San Patriano is a success story. Its members demonstrate, demonstrate selfless love for humanity and building a resilient community from the ground up. Inspiring young men and women live side by side from the results of their daily efforts. These young men and women to make a change by focusing their energy on crafting, creating, and sustainable positive business models. They make a change by transforming their pain and suffering 
into positive energy for the improvement of whole community that sustains itself through entrepreneurship. This process remind me of a cycle of life. It is a cycle from birth to growth and maturity. We see today that this cycle is being threatened at the core with the challenges such as violent extremism and terrorism. Last January, United Nations Secretary General, Mr. Ban Ki-moon, launched the action plan to prevent violent extremism. One of the main approaches is to address the root causes that drive people, particularly youth, to commit acts of violent extremism. The plan clearly states we have to empower youth and identify better tools to support young people as they take up the causes of peace, pluralism, and mutual respect. It is worth noting that United Nations Alliance of Civilization participated in the ad hoc committee that put this action plan together. We can affirm the community of San Patriano has found one of the solutions to greatest threats we face. When we look at their model, they have found the how. Its members involve hard to reach young people. They empower a portion of society that is vulnerable. We now know that vulnerability of our youth leads to disasters, consequences. Take a look at the waves of violence carried by young people under age 25 against their own communities, the community of human life. No region of the world is safe. In less than a year, the world witnessed deadly terrorist attack in Nigeria, Cameroon, France, Turkey, Kenya, and now Belgium. To name just a few, there are thousand young foreign fighters traveling to conflict zones. Many of them return at a random slaughter human life. At San Patria Patriano, vulnerability is targeted through vocational training and consistent support. After gaining the required experiences, they train each other and give back to the community. There are survivors who became entrepreneurs. Mrs. Moratti is taking the success of San Patriano to another level with the initiative of E4 Impact. She sets the bar higher by transforming the successful community showcase from the local to the international level. In Uganda, Nigeria, and Kenya with more centered educational perspective. The effectiveness of this model is undeniable and contributes to the long-term investment towards more peaceful and inclusive society. This is why we have signed the Memorandum of Understanding with Mrs. Moratti in order to enhance the shared vision of con con concerted effort. I strongly believe that working together with an organization like yours will enable us to boost our potential in solving youth problems and dilemmas. During this process, we at the UNAOC should leave no one behind, just like the community of San Patriano leaves no one without help. I thank you.